Hello everybody, welcome back to the Street Fighter 1 credit quest. This time, we are going to be playing as Retsu, otherwise known as Mr. Poofy Eyebrow Man. Uh, which, by the way, look at those goddamn eyebrows, I swear to god. <laughs> if anybody had those eyebrows in real life, I would just laugh. <laughs> I would just laugh, I'm that heartless. Oh wow, it's Ken again. What the fuck? How did he get Ken twice? I don't know. Anyway, Retsu is not your typical Shoto character. He has a fireball, which is edited from this game. He has a counter, which is an edit in this game. And, uh... He has a sort of Tatsu thing, which is an edit in this game. Basically, Retsu is, like, the preferred beginner's character. Like, like for you to get used to playing the game in single player. So, there you go, but basically he's just total ass in this game. <laughs> uh, so there you go, those are his specials, and then his supers are, his punch one is three fireballs, and then his kick one is a little random thing, which I'm gonna try to get here, I don't know if it's double four or not. Okay. It is double four. Go to heaven! Yeah, uh, Retsu is basically, like, the one tier above, uh, Dan in terms of Shoto's. He's, he's bad. He's, he's awful. Like, he does no damage. He does barely any damage. His combos are very limited. Like, he's the character you play if you want to punish yourself. Or if you just want to let your friend beat down on you because you're too good at fighting games. I don't know, maybe if they had turns for this game, I don't know, dank Evo. Maybe there could be a convincing Prince you main. Go to, Go to heaven. This game should be dank Evo. You've got a lot to learn before you beat me. Try again, kiddo. <laughs> Every enemy character is gonna say that. Okay, you know, Retsu, again, wearing his very, very different alternate of nothing. His very, very not different alternate whatsoever. Like, good god. Retsu's <laughs> so stupid! He's so stupid. Such a stupidly dumb character. You know what? Like him for that at the same time. He's stupid, but then again, he's a lovely kind of stupid. There you go. Go to heaven. There you go. Also, the series is gonna feature no face cam because I don't feel like it. That's way too much editing. Like I already have enough difficulty editing it in the first place. Why would I want to throw my face on top of it? <laughs> I don't know, I haven't even edited the Ryu episode because I'm filming this right after, so I mean, you know. I'm basically just replaying what I've already played before. <laughs> I've already played this shit before. Please help me. Please help me. I'm dying. Also, I'm trying to get I'm trying to make the most out of my time that I have allotted with the daylight savings. This is going to be before daylight savings is over. Or when it starts. Is it? Daylight saving time begins. Okay, yeah, so it starts. I win for you, Master Goken. Yeah, that busts the whole Retsu is reused master thing. And there you go, it's random! I think I proved it to you that the character, the latter, is random apart from the last three. Hoi! Quick! Hoi! Again, I think, like, Sagat is, like, the most powerful character to play, but Ryu has the most, like, that shit fucking insane AI. I think for the sake of things, I think I would disqualify Mewtwo things for, like, the top, uh, AI's list, just because fucking not meant to be like that, which I could very well remake that list now that I supposedly wanted to restart everything. 
There you go. Restructure equals redo everything I just did except better. So there you go. I don't know anymore. I'm kind of just, I'm kind of delirious right now because I fucking, I, I went to a freaking insane party. I ate probably too much food and drank probably too much also. Fucking, and I don't think my brain is operating like it should. Oh shit, it's double forward. God damn it. I haven't been doing, doing supers that much. I seem like a scrubby scrub scrub. So there you go. Scrub, scrub, scrubby scrub. Scrub, scrub, scrubby scrub. <laughs> that's, that's my theme song. That's Scrub Mang's theme song. <laughs> he'd, he'd appreciate it. I don't know. He'd probably want his theme song to be a fucking slayer or some shit. That's what I do. No, no, no. no. He's a rat. He'd like a really cringe rap shit. And I'd be like, Oh my god, this new banger theme song. And he'd be like, Oh yeah, what do you think? And, and, and of course, uh, insulting me the whole time. And I'd be like, Here you go. And fucking just raining blood plays in the background. And like, the fuck is this shit? And I'm like, It's music. And he's like, Fuck you, it's just some guy yelling. And I'm like, Well, you Taste. I don't know. I'm not completely against rap music. I'm just against shitty rap music. Which is pretty much rap from the last like 10 or 15 years. Eh, 15 years is an overstatement. Because, hell, even in the 2000s, there was some good rap. Probably. It's just, probably in the last 5 to 10 years is probably a more accurate statement. You can bust my argument however you want. I don't know. My arguments aren't very good. I'm not a very good arguer. I'm a good ranter, but not a good arguer. There you go. Hey, I'm winning matches. Because I'm using supers and stuff. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> and I'm fighting again, again. Again, again. Oh boy. Also, that alternate is so lazy. They just swapped his colors. That's a lot of the alternates in this game. Is literally just swapping out, like, the opposite color. Well, except for, like, Ryu and whatnot. Like, Ryu doesn't do it again, or Ratsu doesn't do it. But pretty much everybody else does. Like, they'll just swap out, and, like, red. Ooh, there we go. Go to heaven. Don't you love it when the characters say the exact same things over and over? I sure do. Rexy was a very fast uh, crouching jab. That was the fucking computer. Good god, the computer. Might just be a problem again, actually. There you go, get that fucking random, my boy. <laughs> So yeah, Retsu, I mean, they gave him a one-handed fireball in this game, mostly just to be like, Dan. I mean, what was the first one-handed fireball in a video game? I don't I don't think it was Ryo and Robert that did it first. I feel like a character in an earlier game had probably thrown a fireball in a similar game one game before uh, Ryo and Robert in an art fighting. I mean, maybe I could cheat them in with Mane, the other characters. I know for Fatal Fury that doesn't work. <laughs> I know for a fucking fact it doesn't work in Fatal Fury, which... If you do have hacks for either the original Street Fighter or, um... Fucking... 
God damn it. I'm trying, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to say something. Uh, Fatal Fury. The first Fatal Fury. To play as the other characters if you have a hack. Uh, please either um, notify me who's made it or give me a download link or something because that would be much appreciated because I would like to do Credit Quest series on those games because, god damn it, I can never have enough fighting games on this channel. God damn it. Fuck you, Red. Fuck you, get me. I almost called him Retsu. Nope, it's, it's not my fault, except when things are totally my fault. Gecky is such an asshole. Okay, whatever. Was I supposed to mash? I think I was supposed to mash. I don't feel like mashing tonight. Not, not tonight. My brain is too fried. God damn. That's it, Gecky. I'm gonna kick your ass. That's, I'm gonna lose the timeout. Fuck you, Gecky. <laughs> what a laugh! Jesus Christ. Yeah, Gecky has a goddamn intimidating laugh. not gonna happen, but I'm gonna try to beat the whole I'm gonna try to beat this whole series without loot without having a single continue. There you go. Mike! Also known as not Balrog. Which I guess that would make Lee not Yoon. And uh Geki not Vega. And also not Ibuki, as a matter of fact. He's both. These two not characters. And then I guess Yet Lee would be not Yoon and not Yang. And I guess Mike could be not Balrog and not Dudley. Like, how many fucking characters have they, like, not used? Retsu is not Dan. And fucking, then they used, uh, and then Joe. There's a better fighting game, Joe. SNK created him. His name is Joe Higashi. Which, ironically, a lot of the developers from this game ended up moving to SNK and making Fatal Fury as a result. Probably then naming Joe that way out of spite, or just out of, uh, out of comedy? Like, just wanting to be an asshole? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, almost like Capcom and SNK kind of just hated each other in, like, a friendly, like, like, they're, they had a nice, friendly rivalry for a little while, until, you know, SNK nearly bit the dust. On a no- on quite a number of occasions! Okay, uh, I should save the SNK diatribes for more KF94. So, let me shut up about King of Fighters. Let me shut up. I mean, it does relate, because, you know, the whole- Developer in the street mm -hmm. work on this game. Fuck! Why do characters block so goddamn much? Psycho style! What the heck is that? Actually, you know what's funny? There are Mugen versions of Dan. Or well, of course there's Mugen versions of Dan. Oh, speaking of me. Um uh, there there's an SF1 edit of Dan, and Jesus Christ, Lee, what the fuck? I'm getting my ass beat. Just let me know. I'm sucking balls at this game right now. Uh, but anyway, um, there's not only an edit of Dan, but there's also an edit of, uh, Charlie from Street Fighter 1, which both of those characters make sense for being in the game. Although maybe instead of Dan Hibiki, it could be Go Hibiki, because he wasn't, you know, a thing. He wasn't, oh, he, he, uh, that was before, I mean... I guess no, because Sagat had his missing eye, so yeah, I guess it would make more sense for it to be Dan. Never mind, I don't know. The Mac 
glitch is over! Oh, get shit on, Lee. Get shit on. God damn it. Alright, here's my, here's my uh, explanation of this AI. It blocks fucking everything at a certain point. Alright, so I'll, I think all I have left is, um, Birdie and Eagle. Because I've already fought Ryu and Ken. I've already fought, uh, Retsu and Gabby. I've already fought Joe and White. And I'm, and I'm about to finish off with, uh, Lee and Gen. So, yeah, all I have left is Birdie and Eagle. And then the top, the big, and then the three boss characters. I guess, yeah, I guess you could consider a Cody a boss character in this game, because he only shows up towards the end, and you wouldn't know about him unless you just played the game mode. Or stumbled upon him by complete accident in the character select screen, so there you go. Go to heaven. There you go. It's Birdie. Wow, Birdie with blue hair? What the fuck? That's something Birdie would not do. I mean, it is his uh, alpha skin. He does have his uh, alpha colored skin, so. There's something. But apart from that, I don't see any more relation to Birdie. You know, to apart from maybe the dress. I mean, his outfit. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm very tired. I'm tired and I'm a loopy. Does that mean I have a right to say stupid shit? Maybe? I don't know. Is sleepy commentary better commentary or is it more composed commentary? I don't know. Leave your opinions down below. Also, let me just tell you right now, Birdie's theme in this game is so good. So good theme. Fuck. God damn it, everybody blocks everything. You'll be surprised if you kill anybody with Retsu's attacks. He's fucking He's so weak. And then fucking when characters block everything and it doesn't even do chip damage, it leads you to get very, very salty. I should put like a salt warning at the beginning of this episode. Probably in, just, just saying. I, I'm a very salty boy. Right now. I'm gonna do it again, just to waste the timer. Just to lay waste to the timer. Hey, Master Cookie. You are an asshole. <laughs> oh shit. I think that's part of his alpha skin. How the fuck do you keep getting all these other colors? Holding start? Maybe. You fucking asshole. Hey! <laughs> oh, I'm starting to get a headache. I don't even, know. I don't even think I can get to leave. Unless I didn't want, like, unless I want to put, like, a sleepy commentary warning on it. I know, I've already filmed these episodes. Shut up. There, I finally killed somebody. Boy! Oh yeah, the announcer in this game is not the Street Fighter 1 announcer, who's fucking annoying as hell. It's the Street Fighter Alpha 1 announcer. So, there you go. If you want more relation to Street Fighter Alpha, we got you covered. Oh my god, put your fucking guard down, you fucking asshole! I'm losing my voice, too. I'm losing my voice. This is this is everything going wrong. It's going wrong. Evil. Go fuck yourself. I'm gonna use this funny ass kick that I want to. Oh shit! Oh my god! Damn, evil. No way! I'm gonna lose. God damn it! 
I'm very glad. <laughs> Yeah, strangely enough, I've never played as either Birdie or Eagle in Street Fighter Alpha. Or any other games that they appeared in. Like, either CBS 2 or Street Fighter 5. Which are literally the only other ones. So, um, oops. There we go, that's how you chain that super in my beliefs. That's how you do it. Go to heaven. Go to heaven. You've got the luck to learn before you meet me. There you go. Hey Cody, what's up? Are you gonna kick my ass again? Probably not. I love how his um, hair changes from like green, from like neon green to brown. And then in later games it changes to blonde. <laughs> yeah, could you like, not have that knife anymore, please, Cody? What the fuck was that hitbox? Oh yeah, wait, this is an arena. This is an area from Final Fight. <laughs> you can get checked out. Ah! Cody's sound effects are cringe as hell, but I love them. Mr. Knife knows he, he you, you can sharpen a knife on his nose. I don't know why you would want to, but you can. Now something you can decide to do. This attack is funny, and I don't know why it's funny. What the fuck? God damn it, Aeon, why are you such a fucking asshole? And this is like the one game where your voice is actually tolerable. Yeah, what's really funny is that his voice actually got increased in pitch as the game got on. As opposed to decreased. You have Ryu, who sounds like a fucking preteen in this game. And then Adon is like, actually a man. And then Alpha, he's like, yeah! <laughs> And then in Street Fighter 4, he, he fucking breaks the goddamn octave scale. Like, he's in an octave all of his own. That's how fucking high-pitched he is. Like, that's why I refuse to play Aedon in any other games. Well, actually, no, that, that's a lie. I have played as Aedon, Aedon before. Like, I love his moveset. Like, like, he's what Sagat's disciple should be. Except his voice is so goddamn ear grating. Like, and I think SNK made that intentionally with um, Billy Kane in the uh, Fatal Fury series where he's just annoying as fuck. Like, why is it that underlings, unless you're like, Mr. Big or some shit. It's like, yeah, I know, technically Mr. Big is not an underling. And again, like, he kind of put himself in a position where he made Takuma... Sort of the main threat, and then obviously he was getting controlled by Geese Howard. So I mean, you can technically consider Mr. Big an underling, and he's not obnoxious. 
Well, then again, he's obnoxious for the things he does. So yeah, just, just, just never be somebody's uh, assistant in a fighting game, because chances are you're just gonna be seen as a big asshole. <laughs> I don't know where this tirade came from. I do apologize. I'm just very, very sleepy right now. Like, it's almost midnight. I should be going to sleep right now, but I'm not. Especially because I'm gonna lose an hour of sleep, like, halfway through. So, like, what the hell am I doing? I'm playing Street Fighter. That's what I'm doing. Man! I'm in my room! I'm playing the Street Fighters! Isn't it funny? Oh, wow, Sagat actually tried to throw a fireball. It failed miserably, but, I mean, he did try it, so I guess that counts for something. Congratulations, Sagat. You're not a failure. You're only half <laughs> Okay, I won my time out. Retsu trained, and the same time that Young's Ryu and Ken under Sensei Gelke's teachings, Retsu tried to master some traditional techniques, but with no success. After he won the World Warrior Tournament, Retsu was sure he mastered his technique, so he quit his training. Okay. There you go. Hmm. So I won, despite my limited fighting skills. I finally managed to defeat Ryu and Ken, who are considered masters, yet I'm the one who remains victorious. Those two may have youth on their side, but nothing beats experience. Heh <laughs> heh. But still... I am disappointed. I have not mastered a single move that I, I was taught. Hmm. I must complete at least one of the techniques, just to honor my master. I love this scene. Watch. Somewhere in the Atlantic, which this is ripped right from Sonic. <laughs> now I've become a truly master. No one has reached your master on his Tatsumaki Senpukyaku. Huh? Oh no, the power is lowering. I'm losing altitude, and there are over 200 miles left. Splash. And then he died. Oh, Retsu, what a lovely goof. Except he was only in one game. Anyway, next time on Street Fighter 1, we're going to be playing as Lee, the Chinese man. So there you go. That, that doesn't sound racist at all. Anyway, I'll see you all next time.